Typically, when you think of the best AP class or the final bosses of AP classes, you think of AP Calc BC, which was even proven in an AP tournament bracket we conducted months ago on our channel. But an AP class that many people like to take before AP Calc BC is AP Calc AB. Some of you are probably thinking I was going to say AP Pre Calc, but we already made a video covering that class. So today I want to focus on the differences and similarities between AP Calc BC and AP Calc AB and why taking only AP Calc BC is the best choice for you. Alright, so to begin, let's look at the core structures and see where they align and where they differ. So many of you probably know that AP Calc AB covers Calculus 1 topics, while Calc BC covers both Calculus 1 and Calculus 2 topics. This means that Calc BC covers all of the AB topics, plus a whole other class worth of topics. Here we can see that the A units that AB and BC both have in common, and then there's two extra units that add on to BC. What some of you may not know is that AB Calc BC also sprinkles in some Calculus 2 topics throughout units 1 through 8, topics like Euler's method, logistic differential equations, and many more. This means that Calc BC has about 40% more content than Calc AB course. So obviously with more content in a course means that the course is going to move at a faster pace, right? And this can be pretty scary at first, especially if this is like one of the first harder APs you're taking or one of the hardest classes you're taking. But honestly, it's more manageable than you think. To put it simple, there's many ways to overcome this issue, such as doing more practice and doing more homework every night, or just asking your teacher more questions, whether that be during class or even after class. I know that doing more work is gonna take out more of your free time, but let's be honest, and if you take any hard AP class, it's going to do this to you and it'll be worth it in the end. So for this extra work you're putting in for Calc BC, what makes this so much better than Calc AB and why you should only take that class? Well, let's begin with the easy answer, college credit. But you're probably saying, oh, you have to do super good on the exam to get the credit, right? Well, the exam is not that bad. If you put in the time and work, it's pretty easy, honestly. Like, come on, let's look at this year's score distributions. About 45% of students got a 5, with 80% of students getting a 3 or higher, passing the exam, and getting college credit for most colleges. This class has the highest pass rate out of any STEM class, STEM AP class. And before you begin with the, oh, but only smart people take this class, so that's why everyone does so well. You are the smart people because you're taking a college math class in high school. Come on, you're locked in. Now, I do want to clarify one thing, which is that this exam has a pretty hefty curve. So you can get like a 65% of the exam and still get a five, which is why there's such a high five rate. But let's just, let's not slack off and not do any preparement for this exam because we know how that goes for exams like APES and APCSP where there's no curve. So actually study and do lock in for this class. Anyways, the college credit is cool and all right, but do you know what's cooler? Saving time, because time is money, right? This is pretty obvious, but if you only take AP Calc BC instead of taking AB in one year and then BC the following year, you're going to get both credits in one year as opposed to spending two years to get one credit and then the next year to just get both credits again. So you're saving a lot of time when taking AP Calc BC. And the other thing is by saving this time, you can possibly dual enroll or take even higher levels of math classes that your uh, school offers, which can get you even more ahead um, in math when you're going into college. And like I said before, a lot of fields require, you know, a good amount of math years. Okay, so I do want to be honest, Calc AB is not the worst option. I mean, it, when you have classes like AP Pre-Calc, uh, come on, it's a pretty good class. So if you do struggle a bit more with math, then this course could be for you since, you know, the pace is a bit slower. So that could be one thing to consider. But if you have the option to take Calc AB, or BC in your junior year, and you don't really care about doing those extra future years of math, then sure, do AB junior year, do BC senior year, and you'll still get a good amount of cal calculus credit for college. But if it's your senior and it's your last year in high school, I would advise you to take Calc BC because you're gonna get both credits in your last year, so you'll still be graduating high school with both those calcul calculus credits, which is very nice. I do want to advise, again, that this class will stack a lot of homework on you, so if you're trying to take this at the same time with like Physics C, or I don't know, AP Bio, AP Chemistry, other classes where they stack a lot of homework on you, I maybe wouldn't do that. It just depends how confident you are in your skills and how much free time you have after school to actually do the homework, because the, it is very necessary to do a lot of practice for this class. Okay, okay, one more thing I want to clarify that's very important for honestly any class in general 
is that you should probably do a little bit of research on who your teacher is going to be for that class. Um, because this is a very important factor. If the teacher isn't super comfortable teaching this class, say maybe it's their first couple years, then it could be kind of hard to pick up stuff and you might have to end up doing more self-studying, which could end up being pretty rough. But if you have a teacher with a really good teaching style, that can make Calc BC much easier than Calc AB. If you're able to, ask some students in the past who took both of those courses and see what they said about their teacher because that is a very important factor or else you're gonna have to be doing a lot more self-studying than you want to. All right, so that's everything. Um, hopefully now you can understand why AP Calculus BC is just the superior AP class the superior AP Calc class. Um, if you have any more questions about this course or Calc AB, please let me know in the comments. I took Calc BC recently this year and scored a five, so I'm happy to answer any questions I'm able to. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you think you learned something new, please make sure to subscribe, also hit the like button, and yeah. Other than that, I'll catch you guys later.